Hi there. This week's question is, will Linux ever, ever overtake Windows? My name is Steve, this is TQA Weekly, and I'm going to be making a prediction for the next two decades, but before we get into that, let's talk about Linux. Linux is typically free, you have flavors that range from entry-level users all the way to enthusiasts, it can be installed on most but not all computers, and of course, you have access to a lot of free software, but not necessarily the software that people want. So for those of you that are moving from Windows to Linux, you will have to adapt. However, that being said, since there's not one particular version of Linux that a whole bunch of people are using that contains everything that everybody wants to use and wants to do with it, it is lacking. It only exists currently on one out of every 50 installs on personal computers. Windows exists on three out of every four installs, mm. meaning that it's only on 2% of computers. And we're only talking about personal computers here, which the question is, will Linux ever overtake Windows? It's a very unfair question because we've always been asking this. Mm. And the reality of the fact is, is that we cannot treat that question correctly. See, the issue is we treat the question of Linux versus Windows, ignoring the rest of the reality of the end user. If we're only looking at personal computers, Windows has a market share of 75%. That is not the reality of things. Android is installed on every four devices out of every 10. Windows accounts for only one out of every three devices that connects to the internet iOS is present on half of that. And Linux, where we are looking at everything else, is long forgotten. Will Linux ever overtake Windows? Probably not, because Android has been overtaking Windows already. And it is far more likely that both Windows and Linux will be erased by platforms like Android or that are from the lineage of Android. Given the change in market share over the last decade or two, we can easily, easily determine that we're gonna be heading towards a place where the platforms that exist on our cell phones and tablets are the platforms that we're gonna end up using. And when we are talking about making video games, making software, making websites, and doing things, we're focused, laser focused, on making things work for Windows, for consoles, for iOS, and more specifically for Android because of the current market share. Meaning that because it is easier and a better return on investment to invest money on Windows, on iOS, and on Android, Linux simply won't be around, or it will only be reserved for enthusiasts and of course servers. Probably be still around in 20 years for servers, but it won't necessarily be on our devices, and even Windows probably won't be on any of our devices unless something seriously happens to them where they start retaking market share and being re-embedded in devices. Because what has happened in the last two decades is this. We have gone from being able to install the operating system to choosing the operating system we're going to use. Linux simply can't be installed on an iPhone, can't really be installed on an Android device either. It can only be installed on personal computers. And with all of the problems related to getting hardware for computers, we are moving towards mobile devices, which are easier to get, and Linux, like Windows, will disappear. What will happen in the next 20 years will be interesting to see because, as we all know, Google has a lot of issues having to deal with privacy. So what will a Google-centric error look like once Microsoft disappears itself?